Good morning, good morning, good morning, family. It is a wonderful day and it is so wonderful that we can all come together and gather today. Oh, we tell the Lord, Amen. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We bless his holy name for all that he is doing in us and through us. This week, it's all about location, location, location. You know, we look at the location and think so many different things, you know, in reference to the worldly things that we have to deal with, but the Lord knows. So we just say thank you. Thank you. But of course, we always want to enter into our Father's gates with thanksgiving before we get into anything else. So we enter into your gates with thanksgiving, Father, and your courts with praise. We give thanks to you, Lord, and praise your name. Your word says, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come to him with thanksgiving. Let us sing psalms of praise to him. For the Lord is a great God, a great king above all gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the mightiest mountains. The sea belongs to him, for he made it. His hands form the dry land too. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. Let us lift our voice in thanksgiving to the Father this morning. We cannot say thank you enough to him for all that he has done and continues mm -hmm. to do in our life. Let mm -hmm. us lift our voice in thanksgiving. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. are so good. You are so loving, Father. We thank you. We thank you that you chose to wake us up. You wake us up this morning. We could be here now, Father. Thank you. Thank you for the breath that we. Satan, our lords, amen. Oh, Father, thank you. Thank you that you are with us and not us forsaken us, oh Lord. We thank you for that you did not consume us. You are the this marvelous day, oh Lord. Oh Lord, we bless your name. Thank you for coming to your presence. Thank you. Thank you. Father, we thank you for Amen. all you are doing because our of lives. your faithfulness, because Amen. of your faithfulness, because of your kindness, because of who you are. Amen. Thank you for being a father, a father and our Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being our bridge. Thank you for being. The Father, God of peace, Jehovah Shalom, Lord, that in your presence, indeed, peace is our portion. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the gift of Jesus. Your holy name, Father. Thank you. Thank you for the Lord. And Father, we come to you in the rock of the dead, broken as we were freed. Yes, Lord, that indeed you prepare a table for us in, our, in the presence of our enemies. And so with that, we just give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor and all that adoration because indeed it belongs to you. Father, we worship you, Father. You being the, the beginning and indeed the and but also you are the God of the middle, amen. Lord. Thank you. About all the details of this, Lord, you care about all the hairs on our heads, you care about the statuses of our hearts, you care about how we feel and what we do, and where we are standing, oh, Father, God, you care. And this morning, Lord, we just say thank you for those that concern us, Lord. We say thank you because. You are loving. Okay. It's our portion, Father God. Thank you for the resources that you've made available to us, Lord. We bless you this morning for the word. Your holy name, Father. Expansion. Oh, please, Lord, we are honored beyond 2024. We thank you, God. 
worship yes, in this, Lord, we bless your name. this morning Lord we just bow down Lord we fall to our knees and we say thank you yes, Lord we say thank you 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 God you are good that you are strong that you are loving God Leave us nor forsake us. Presence in our lives. Yes, Lord, we bless your holy name, Father. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. You have brought us into the darkness. Father, we thank you. Oh, Lord, we bless your name, Father. We thank you for the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ. We bless your name, Father. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Daddy. It says in your word, and while they were eating, he took a loaf of bread, praised God, and gave thanks and asked him to bless it to their use. Then he broke it and gave it to them and said, take, eat, this is my body. We thank the Lord for the sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ. He accepted that which he was called for to do. He did not complain. He did not grumble. He freely accepted that which his father called him forth to do. He was obedient till the end. He took the beatings. He endured everything that his father set him forth to do, he did. And we thank the Lord that we honor and recognize the broken body of Jesus Christ. Let us mm -hmm. break and partake. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for the sacrifice of your son. Yes, Lord, thank you. We partake to oneness and wholeness and healing. Everything that Jesus bore on his body just for us. We thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, Father. It said, he also took a cup of the juice of grapes. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and they all drank of it. And he said to them, this is my blood, which ratifies the new covenant, the blood which is being poured out for on account of many. Again, he accepted that which his father called him for. His blood was shed in so many ways. He was beaten terribly. His body was broken in so many ways just for us and in his blood was shared just for us so father yeah. we, thank you. we thank you for the sacrifice of your son jesus christ we thank you for his blood and we partake with that understanding lord we thank you bless your name thank you lord we thank you father blessed be your name we all about location, location, location this week, Father. Um, family, we are here to talk about the location, location, location. In the article this week, we saw where the Father was intentional. He was intentional in placing man after creation. He chose the location. He made sure everything was prepared for him, and he placed him. It says, now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east, in Eden, and there he put the man he had formed. So you see, the Lord took care of everything and then placed him there. So we saw the importance of how the father was intentional about what he did. And then he chose a location and he placed man there. So we understand that it is in the Father that we live and move. Therefore, we are to be guided by him. Because you saw just now how he placed man. He took care of everything concerning him and placed man there. It says the Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. So you see in the Lord's guidance, there is provision. There is protection. The Lord makes a way and takes care of those that he has sent them forth. 
or he has placed him in a particular place for a reason and he takes care of everything concerning that. We have some examples here. We have Terah. Terah did not receive guidance from the Lord, but Terah went forth and took his sons, his grandson, his extended family, and went forth. It said, Terah left Ur in Babylon. He took with him his son Abraham, Abram, and his grandson Lot, the son of Haran. Terah also took his daughter-in-law Sarai, the wife of his son Abram. All of them left together to go to Canaan, but when they came to Haran, they made their home there. Terah lived for 205 years, and then he died in Haran. But see, we have that with the father, Terah. Terah. But then we go on to Abraham, his son. It said, the Lord had said to Abraham, go from your country, your people, and your father's family. Go to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great. You will be a blessing to others. I will bless those who bless you. I will put a curse on anyone who puts a curse on you. All nations on earth will be blessed because of you. So Abraham went just as the Lord had told him. So you see, the Lord told him to go. And he went and the Lord told him that when he goes, he will show him where he ought to go and that he will make him into a great nation and he will bless him and he will make his name great and he will bless those who bless him and he'll put a curse on anyone who puts a curse on him. So he said, all nations on earth will be blessed because of you. So we see Abraham's obedience to the father. He told him, go and I will show you. And the Lord directed his steps. But some of us may say, what about, what about me who was forced out of my country or got sent somewhere out of my own will? So we see here, Joseph. Judah said to his brothers, what will we gain if we kill our brother and try to cover up what we've done? Come, let's sell him to these traders. Let's not harm him ourselves. After all, he's our brother. He's our own flesh and blood. Judah's brothers agreed with him. The traders from Midian came by. Joseph's brothers pulled him up out of the well. They sold him to the Ishmaelite traders for eight ounces of silver. Then the traders took him to Egypt. So we see here, Joseph is their brother. But... You know, they weren't happy with him. You know, here he is, this dreamer who sees all of these things and, you know, see them bowing down to him. And they're like, who are you? So they made a plan and they worked against him. But even in that, where you're taken out of your country against your will, the Lord provides, the Lord takes care of that. So in Joseph's case, we see that he was forced out of the country. But again, the Lord took care of him. Joseph had been taken down to Egypt. An Egyptian named Potiphar had bought him from the Ishmaelite traders who had taken him there. Potiphar was one of Pharaoh's officials. He was the captain of the palace guard. The Lord was with Joseph. He gave him great success. Joseph lived in Potiphar's house. Joseph's master saw that the Lord was with him. He saw that the Lord made Joseph successful in everything he did. So you see, sometimes you're like, what in the world? I got taken out of my country, you know, outside of my own will. And here I am. Look at me. I'm in a pit. Then I'm taken from a pit and I'm brought down to a next place. And now here I am. But while you're there, just like Joseph, the Lord was with him. The Lord took care of him. So that's why the location is so important that we be guided by the Father. Even when we do here, go against our will without you know, being able to make a choice or have, a, have the Lord have a say in the matter. He comes and he says, 
Don't worry, my child. I have you. I will take care of you. So we see again, just like Joseph, we may be forced out of our country, but the Lord is more than able to take care of us. Terah set out without guidance, but his son, Abraham, was chosen by the father and he was guided and blessed by the father. So we see, family, how important the father is. He is the author and finisher of all things. He wants us to come to him in relation to the location that we choose to live and to allow him and the Holy Spirit to guide us. He wants a relationship with us. And he wants to be the one to say, go there. I have already made provision for you there. Go. And when you go, you will see how the Lord bless you, how the Lord takes care of everything concerning you. But let us not go without the Lord's guidance where we go somewhere. And then, you know, it's just like, hey, you know what? This looks good. It looks glitzy. It looks fancy. It has everything that I could think of that it, it want to offer for me. And then you go. And it's not a great place because the Lord did not send you there. And then someone, for example, in his nephew's lot case, like Abraham has to come and rescue him because that was not the place that he was supposed to be. But we thank the Lord, just like Joseph, that if some of us are forced out of our countries or go against our will, the Lord is more than able and he takes care of us and he goes before us and he takes care of the, everything concerning us. So we are so thankful to the Father that he is the one that deals with our location, location, location. We just, we just have to go to him and be obedient to him to listen when he says, go. And we go where he sends us. Oh, we thank you. So family, let us pray for the location of our physical home, that we do not look at worldly factors to determine our home location, but that we depend on the Father's guidance. Let us say, our Father, we want to be like your son, Abraham, when it comes to the location of our home. Some of us may have been like Terah or Joseph, but Father, we thank you that you do not leave us nor forsake us. Father, we submit our lives to you. We submit our homes to you. As we look to our year of expansion in 2024, Father, we know that we cannot truly expand if you are not there. Father, so, guide us. Order our steps. We are who we are because of you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, that we should not be like terror all over, but we just decide we're going to go and take our uh, residence with us without hearing from you. But we thank you, the Lord, that his son, Abraham, was able to be chosen by you, Father. Yes. And he listened and he heard from you. Oh, and, you called. This is good, and Father. when he went, you showed him where he ought to go. You ordered his step, Father. Blessed him, Father. Oh, Father, we are so grateful. Even Joseph, oh Lord, who was taken against his will. Even then, Father, you showed up for him. Thank you, oh Lord, that you are the divine interceder for us, oh Lord, who may not have gone somewhere, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. Will, but the Father, we thank you that you are divinely able to take care of everything that concerning us. Father, we, he was thrown in a oh, pit Father, we come before you with hearts of gratitude. Thank you. To sleep. Thank you, Father. The yes, Lord, Lord, we thank you, Daddy. We want to be like your son, Abraham. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Bless you, Father. 
Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord our God. Continue to guide and direct us. Our Father. Oh, Lord, we thank our steps you. Are guided yes, by Lord, you. We submit our lives to you, Father. We yes, submit Lord, ourselves Father. to you, Daddy. Thank, thank you, Lord, Lord. Thank you, Father. You will wish oh, we bless your name, Father. Yes, Lord, we desire, Father, Lord. to be like Abraham. Yes, Lord, we shall not look at it. Okay, this is close to my son's school. We cannot just up and leave, Father, because of our own Oh, look at the, look at the area. Look how wonderful it looks. We will receive the understanding from you. turn to you and say, Father. Instruction from you, God. And more, pardon me. Show us where you will have us to go. into your hands. Yes, Lord. Don't we can have residences so into your hands, so Lord. Your hands, so Father. Wherever we are, Father. Yes, Lord. We thank you. To you. you are the For everything we you. have and everything we yes, own. Yes, Lord. We bless your holy name, Father. Thank you, Daddy. Even as we are in this yes, place, Lord. oh gracious God. Yes, Lord. We bless you. your name, Father. Thank Let you, Lord. Keep us where we Lead are, Father. Guide us, Father. Yeah, All Father, our blessings only you Jesus can, Father. We thank you. So oh, blessed be your name, Father. Lead me, Father. So, 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 Lord, where I ought to go, Father, and let me go there, Father. Father Lord. Yes, Lord, may I be obedient, O oh, Father, to Father, that which you have called me forth for. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord I bless your name, Father. I thank you, God. Yes, yeah, that we shall heed this, O oh Lord, to your word, Father. And we shall not go without your guidance, Father, Lord, we thank you. We shall not look at the worldly factors, O oh Lord, but we shall turn to you, Father. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, Father. Blessed be your name, Father. Yes, Lord, we bless your holy name. Bless your sacred name, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord, we bless you. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. Father, we say order our steps. Our steps. Order Lord. our steps, Father. Order our steps, oh God. Yes, Lord, we say order our steps. Order our steps, oh God. Steps of the righteous. Yes. Lord. Father, that you remember us. Thank you, Daddy. Father, wherever we are, Lord, Father. Father, we thank you. Father, Father, we thank you. May we speak mm -hmm. to our Father. May we speak to our Father and ask Him to order our steps. Ask Him to guide us and direct us as we choose the location of our homes where we May we ask the Father our steps. Oh, Lord, tells us to Lord, step to the right to serve that by you. Lead us, O oh Lord, as only you can. Lord, to thank you yes, because Lord. there is provision so where we go, Lord, in your word. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you. That's the name and because of that, Lord, those who believe and those who have received the right to be in your Oh, blessed be your name. Of your presence, worthy of your God. Let us speak to us. And when we see you order the steps of the righteous, oh Lord, you just may we listen and take heed. Oh Lord, that we just order our steps. So we try to force our steps Lord, in any direction. Sharpen our understanding, Father. Oh, thank you. 
May we be guided by you, Father. Thank you for that. As far as I do not know where to go, what to do. As we naturally, we think, oh, let's go here and there, but no, we turn to you before we even go anywhere. We ask you, Father, to guide us and direct us, O Lord, to lead us as only you can. Thank you, God. Oh, blessed be your blessed name. Be order to the right jobs, O Lord. Order and honor is right yours, Almighty oh, Father. We thank you. Ask them, so Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father, so that we'll remain perpetual in your divine will. Mm -hmm. May we always do yeah. as you have asked us to you have not called us to go father god may you not have to come and rescue us later oh father because we may that put us in the wrong place, Father, that put us in danger. We are in the best choice for us, Father. Oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you for all the ways that you have rescued us before, oh, Father. We thank you, God. We thank you for the hand that is upon us, oh, Lord. We bless you. Oh, blessed be your name, Father. All praise, glory, and honor is yours. Thank you. We thank you, O Lord, that you order our steps, O Lord, as we O Lord, as we guide and direct our children, O Lord. May we, O Father, function in your will. May we not go outside of your will, Father God. We thank you. We bless your holy name. Yes, Lord. We thank you for keeping away those that are not for us, O Lord. I will take us on course. We thank you, O God, for your mighty hands upon us, O Lord. Guiding us and directing us, O Lord. Yes, Lord. You are like the rudder on a ship, O Lord. Guiding it where it needs to go, Father. We thank you. Oh, blessed be your name, Father. You are the light in the lighthouse, Father. We thank you. Lead us as only you can, Father. Yes, thank you. Lord. Oh, blessed be you. Yes, praise, glory, and honor is to you. Yes. Thank you. You are kind. You are too loving, Father. We are so grateful. Thank you. Thank you for the sacrifice of your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Our steps, Father, to our brethren who are hurting. Our steps, Lord, to those who need the words of encouragement. Our steps, O Heavenly Father, to the world. Back to you, Father, we thank you. Father, for that and steps to the kingdom. And your goodness, O oh Lord. Lord. For that steps, O oh Lord. Thank you, O oh Lord, for that which only you can do in our lives, Father. Yes, Lord, do as only you can do, Father. Oh, Father, let us not go down the wrong path only to be rescued later, O oh Lord. Father, we for keeping us, O oh Lord, from going down the wrong path, O oh Lord, from making decisions in our own strength, Father, we thank you. Speak to us, O oh Lord. Remind us, Father. We thank you, Father. Remind us, O oh Lord. May we hear that soft voice that speaks to us and say, No, do not go that way. We want to thank you for your hearing, O oh God. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Oh, blessed be your name. Oh, secret share of you, Papa. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We 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 are so grateful for you in our life. Thank you, Lord. You are good. 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 You are good.
Yes, Lord, move in this place as only you can, Father. We thank you. Speak to our hearts, oh Lord. Speak to our hearts as only you can. Father. Yes, Lord. If we are going somewhere in our own strength, Father, speak to us and correct us, Father. May we not go. Oh Lord. May we not go into places that are not for us, oh Father, that you have not called us to, Father. We thank you. Yes, Lord, we thank you, oh Lord, for your hand of protection. We thank you that you are guiding us and directing us as only you can, Father. We bless you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, we bless your holy name, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Oh, Father, we are so grateful to you, Lord. We thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Father. Thank you. Bless your name, Father. We thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Yes, Daddy. Family, we are reminded it's about advancing the kingdom, specifically in our homes, including where we live. It's about relationships. It's about legacy building. The things we do or do not do has an impact. Think of our past and how we want the present and future to look different. Think of the things that we have been through and we don't want our children to go through. So let us be intentional. Mm -hmm. The future generation is depending on us. May mm -hmm. we put our children aside and forget them mm -hmm. while we're doing everything else that the world has called us to. Let us remember that we are building that we are doing something for them because nation builders and role models are waiting for us. They are in our mm -hmm. homes, ready for us to guide and direct them. Yes, family, mm -hmm. let us remember that, that we yeah. have a role to play in our homes and that we have to trust the Father as we go through this process, that he will be the one to guide and direct us as we guide the ones in our homes, because he is the one who locates us and puts us where he needs us to be. Let us not function in our own strength and in our own will and have the Father to let come and rescue us from some situation we weren't supposed to be in. Yes, he will rescue you, but let us not go there. Let us listen to him and be intentional and be obedient to the Father. So we thank the Father this day. May we say our final greetings. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of our God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, and the love of our God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, and the love of our God, and the fellowship of our God, and the love of our God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, and the love of our God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, and the love of our God, and the